What's going on guys? So I'm sure you've seen a previous tent video, probably me getting pulled over, but that video has got a lot of views on it and so a lot of comments. And so I wanted to make this video today really showing what it's like driving with this at night because there's a ton of comments, you know, just the usual YouTube hate comments saying you're stupid, why would you tint your windshield, you deserve that, blah, 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 all the typical stuff. Um, you got kind of two sides of it, the people that have never done window tint like this, and they have a huge opinion on how it's so horrible, you can't see at night, how dumb it is, all this kind of stuff. And then on the other side, you've got people that have got three layers of 5% and they say it's not bad to drive with. People will defend it either way, whether they have no clue or whether it is too dark and you shouldn't be using that, but they'll say it's not bad just because they're trying to justify it or be hard or something like that. But I did want to go over today and obviously when it gets dark, we're going to be checking out how it is at night. We have 35% windshield tint and then 5% around the rest of the truck. So pretty dark, as you can see, even if 5%, you can still see through it sometimes. Um, looking through the sunroof. But it just looks absolutely killer. Exhaust is screaming. But I'll give y'all a little look um, with it being during the day right now. So, obviously, you can still 100% see out of here just dandy. I mean, that's, that's, that's nothing. So, um, I know a lot of people will say they'll just jump to conclusions because because it looks like this it looks like a mirror um, on camera and somewhat in person but people will automatically assume you can't see anything at night well for starters a lot of this is based off of having good headlights so I do have a nice set of ox beam headlights you'll see in the video at nighttime that these lights are absolutely killer so if you do not have good headlights do not listen to what I'm gonna show you in this video because yours will be dramatically different than mine. If you've got some nasty, crusty stock headlights with factory halogen lights, um, it might be dramatically different than what I'm going to show you here tonight. But if you do have a nice set of factory or aftermarket headlights with LEDs or projectors, it should be very similar to what I'm going to show you. Alright guys, so I did just want to show it during the day as well, you know, an all-inclusive ex all video so y'all can really see what it's like living with it in all aspects during the day and at night so as you can see during the day absolutely <laughs> no problem at all so I don't really know what it is but you definitely feel awesome um, if you have a vehicle with tint on all your windows including the windshield you know what it's like um, it just feels awesome you just feel freaking sick and it's uh it's, it's pretty legit all right guys over here at gears I figured I would just show you all this because it's just it's beautiful out here man trucks looking great it's starting to get dark obviously I'm not gonna film you're gonna see next until I go home, but she sure is looking pretty, boy. As long as it ain't extreme beaming sunlight where you can see imperfections like swirl marks and scratches and fender marks and whatnot, man, this thing just looks freaking killer. So let's go ahead and jump inside and see how it is. Alright, guys, I got y'all out the sunroof. So you can see, you know, no windshield tint. And then as soon as we get leveled out, I'll drop it inside and you'll get to see. Drop your comment what you think. Gonna be bad. Oh, looky there. So, contrary to everyone that comments saying it's dumb to have windshield tint that you obviously can't see at night. Look at there, you actually can see just fine so I can even see I'm looking at my iPhone right now which I'm gonna film a time-lapse with my GoPro I don't know how good it'll pick up the light because it doesn't usually do good in low light but right here with my iPhone I can even see better than what it picks up so I can see really good I can see way up there well I guess y'all can see up there those trees as well so as you can see right off the bat 35% windshield tint it is not bad at all I mean like I said earlier in this video, it is based off of me having some very good headlights. I mean, if you don't have really good headlights, it might not be the best thing to do because it might be dramatically worse, obviously. So my old Mustang 2014, it came with projectors, which were good, but I don't know if it was, I had different tint, maybe the tint was cheaper or I don't know what, but it actually gave it more of a halogen look instead of this bright white look, 
and it actually kind of made me drowsy and I did not enjoy it about six months after getting it I took it off however with this I've had it on for what a month now I've had no issues with it making me drowsy or having any issues seen as you can see the lights do not look halogen they still have a very nice bright look and absolutely no no complaints see the road and able to turn even with 5% still see plenty of the road I can see even better than what the camera is showing the Jeep so there's our turn it's raining look at there 5% still see at night as long as there's some external light which like I say if there wasn't any you would be able to see whether it was no tent or anything closed gas stations but I mean as you can see it's absolutely nothing through 35% windshield it's you, you can completely see you can see through the 5% easily make all of your turns that you're needing I mean it's just unreal some people just have such a false impression of what and of what window tint is like on the inside just because it's pitch black on the outside looking in it's just not the case that's just not how tint works so a lot of people spreading a lot of false information about when to tint. But, I mean, I get it. It's illegal. You know, there's no getting around that. You shouldn't have it on your windshield. You're going to get a ticket, blah, blah, blah. You know, that that's just part of it. That's the only risk. That's the only downside, in my opinion. storage the gopro is actually still working it hasn't died for one so that's amazing but i'm pretty much going to end it off here uh, drop a comment down below if you have full experience with wind to tent what your impressions is for the people that have never ran windshield tent or dark side tent hopefully this is a little bit of insightful video um, maybe if you're one of those that comment talking about how stupid it is and stuff maybe this is an eye opener or at least maybe prevent you from you know acting a fool dropping hate comments on something you really don't know about um, sure I get it it's illegal you're gonna get a ticket um, whatever that's you know that's a risk you take but in my opinion as far as the side windows sure the windshield tent might be taking it too far you might get hassled a lot but side tent back having the dark it's just good and um, never been an issue so I say that there's always a, you know you can go years without having a problem and then get wrecked back to back so you never know but yeah so i'm gonna quit rambling hopefully y'all did enjoy i'll see y'all in the next one